In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Flash tool, version 0.2.6, because uh, people aren't taking the time to actually read this thread, and uh, they're asking the same questions over and over again. So to start off, download the Flash tool. Um, the link to this thread, as always, is in the description, so don't ask me where to download files. Download the Flash tool, and once you've done that, download one of the firmwares. So the latest one is a 435 for the X10i and 435 for the X10a. Once you've downloaded the Flash tool, you're going to get a program. Double click and run it. And it's going to ask you to extract. So extract it wherever you want. So let's say C slash Flash tool. And once you've extracted everything, you're going to get the Flash tool. All your firmwares go into the firmwares folder, which is empty right now. And starting from version 0.2.4, all the firmwares have to be in a single file. So when you download the firmware, it's going to be an FTF file, Flash Tool file, and it's a single file. So if you copy that file, or move it, and put it into your firmwares folder, and then go back and right click and run the Flash Tool as administrator, and click on Flash, you'll see the firmware show up. Okay. If you've already downloaded a firmware and you have the old style firmware with all the different files, uh, the Flash tool can combine them into a single file for use with the new Flash tool. So just copy that folder, remove it. I'm just going to put it in this, the Flash tool folder and go back into the Flash tool. Go to Advanced, choose Bundle Creation, browse to where you have that uh, folder, so 2.1a generic, click Open, and select all the files, give it a name, so X, I'm going to call it X10a, version 435, and generic branding, hit OK. It's going to ask me which device, X10, hit OK, and it's going to start creating that single file. Okay, once that's complete, if you go into the firmware folder, you'll see there's that new file that it's been created, X10 generic. So when you go back into the Flash tool now and click on Flash, there will now be two bundles. So that's how you use the new Flash tool. You either have to download the single FTF file or you have to create one uh, if you've downloaded the old firmwares with all the files. Make sure, as always, make sure you have PC Companion and Update Service installed and make sure you're running everything as administrator.